Hi there and welcome to another Parker Adams Boat Sales video walkthrough tour. My name's Andrew Adams and I'm here today in a very special factory in Itchener. And you, behind me, it's pretty unmissable. This is the Spearfish 32. Now I'm in the North Shore yard here in the purpose-built showroom, especially for this boat. Now I'm really, really excited to bring you this boat to market. Now this boat is it's just exceptional. I first became involved in this boat actually back in 2021 where I photographed and did all the drone filming for the promotional materials for the launch of this boat. Um, since then it's won multiple accolades, it's been the cover boat um, of magazines and the, every hit person that steps on board this boat and drives this boat said it is unbelievable and probably one of the best boats they've ever driven. Now in terms of the hull, I mean, it was perfected for 25 years by Alan Bernard and the hull is just mind-blowing. It's such a smooth riding powerful hull and this boat when it's paired with the engine options that are in this boat creates an absolutely incredible intoxicating blend um, of boat so what I'm going to do today is a full walkthrough tour on this boat. The boat is packed full of the very, very latest technology. Uh, you can see here on the screens, you've got Lumashore light, which control all of the, um, the zones on board the boat. Um, all of the lighting on board is LED and Lumashore controlled. Um, the interior is very, very custom. It's a beautiful bespoke interior um, that just oozes class. You can see here, you've got the Miele coffee machine. You've got an induction hob. Um, this head is just beautiful. This is like a high-end hotel heads. Uh, so everything about this boat really is absolutely superb, and I'm so excited to bring this boat. Um, I don't think the term modern classic could ever be utilised more than on this boat. The attention to detail, the way the boat is finished is just fantastic. Apologies for the beeping. We're in a working yard, and there's a, there's a lorry that's just reversing behind us. Uh, so let's crack on with um, the walkthrough tour. First thing I'll point out is right at the very front of the boat. Um, I just love the way that this is an ultramarine anchor, which is a really lovely, quite new design of anchor, but the shape of it really just blends in. It's almost like it was built for the spearfish. Um, this hull has just got such a unique profile and a beautiful shape. Uh, you've got Lumashore lights that are built into the front, so you can use those as running lights or just as design lights when you're in a marina. The hull on this boat is not anti-fouled at the moment, so you can see it's just bare GRP. It is, of course, fitted with a bow thruster, um, but if the owner who buys this boat wants to have it anti-fouled, then the, the yard here are more than happy to anti-foul it for the owner ready to go. The profile of the boat, um, I'm, you can look down the lines here, but I'll just overlay a quick picture here of the uh, drone videos when it was running along just outside Chichester Harbour that I did back in 2021. And you can see here, it just looks absolutely beautiful. Um, I love the fact that you've got this really good high quality stainless steel rubbing straight all the way along here and just every little step of the way there's beautiful attention to detail step um, points. Um, the cleats for example, the cleats are moulded flush here um, but all you have to do is just, I knew I'd do it, lift it up. So that hasn't lifted up for a while but you've got there, just lift it up tie your rope on, when you're finished, just push it back down again, totally flush. And it's just those little design touches which make this boat very, very special. Um, I love the heart back to the Supermarine. Um, the original logo is there on the side. And then something I really, really like is these, uh, I think they've been likened sort of Spitfire style exhausts. If you look down here on the side here, uh, they look like exhausts. Of course, they're not exhausts. They're more um, aimed at air intakes and allowing the air intake, um, so the air in the engine to breathe. Another lovely feature is these fenders. So you might notice there's an absence of guardrails. Of course, there are options to have guardrails added to these boats if you specify them from new. This boat just has no guardrails, so you have to be a little bit careful walking around it. Um, but in terms of fender access, because you don't have guardrails to tie it on, you've got these little clips here, and you just pop them in and lift them up. So just on there, you've got the little clips, and it's really, really nice. They just pop into these little stainless steel pop studs, and there you have your fender fitted. Very, very easy. I talked about technology. The technology is throughout the whole of this boat. And if you start at the back, we can see here you've got um, LED lighting on the stern. That's all Lumashore lighting. It's all controlled through the chart plotters. You've got zip wake um, automatic trim tabs. So you've got the latest generation of trim tabs on here. And they're par powered by the Mercury Racing Bravo 3 drives. Now, on this, you've got V8 TDI Mercury um, diesels. I'm really used to Volvo Penta diesels. I spend most of my weeks going out in Volvo Penta diesels. 
brilliant diesels. They work fantastically. They're in just about every boat that we sell. However, I have to say, these diesels in this boat are so silky smooth. When I went out and did that um, work in 2021 on the boat, I was blown away by how quiet these engines were and also the way that they come on to boost with the turbos was just incredible. Um, the engine bay in here looks I think it looks so different because it's not two big green Volvo Penta engines, um, but it looks really, really high-end, a bit like opening up the bonnet of a car. So I'm quite excited to show you that a bit later. So as we carry on walking around, I shall go up the gantry and we'll board the beast. <coughs> so I'll just slip my shoes off. Um, the... Synthetic teak that's laid here is an Esatec um, teak, which is a very, very nice hard-wearing teak. Um, it has a very nice finish. Again, love the designer touches of not having the borders. Um, it all just looks absolutely beautiful. Courtesy lighting on here, and then this is designed that you've got a full walk through here into the cockpit space, um, and you've obviously got two sun pad cushions here at the back for two people to sit and enjoy the sunshine, and more courtesy lighting, and there's a transom bathing shower just on the back there as well. So, cockpit space, what have you got? So you've got a, this creates a, a really nice L-shaped seating in here. There's a really nice, clever, natty design in this piece. So that what we do, if I just, if you look down here, this is set up at the moment as a step, so you've got walk, full walkthrough access. But all I can do is lift that up into position here, and then you've got a board underneath that just slides into a lower run. What I need to do is bring that out, spin it over, slide it back into place slide it into there and now you have the full L-shaped seating and it feels much much more cozy and enclosed in here um, but it's so simple just to make that, big, that the walkthrough again. Because I'm going to be showing you engine access I'll turn it back into the walkthrough for now, take that out, spin that round, drop that in and just pull this back down. What is? I'm just going to grab the camera for a second just to show you some of the, um, the details on this. Now, the boat is powered by a beautiful, really, really high-powered Fusion sound system, but I love the fact that it's got the custom speaker grills with the Supermarine logo inscribed into them there. Um, that's just an example there of some of the detailing that you've got. Um, all of these areas here are all upholstered beautifully, stainless steel cup holders, and then you've got this cockpit table that just comes up and then clicks into position, so you've got a small space there um, to have drinks um, as a little sort of cocktail design table. Storage space in here, you've got a nice size locker, fire extinguisher. In there, you've actually got a winch handle. Now, the reason for the winch handle, I'll bring it out, close that up, because just down into here, you've got a lazarette space. Now, this is where all of the, the battery access is. And in there, you can see it's actually really, really deep. You've got batteries at the back, um, but you've got a really nice um, amount of dry storage in there. Close that up. and then lock that down into position. And then in this one here, lift it up, and you've got access, this one's on a gas strut, you've got access there and to the top of the tank. But you can see there how be everything is beautifully fed. Um, lots and lots of, <laughs> lots and lots of nuts and bolts there on the access panel. I'll just close that back up again. And pop that just on the top there. You've got a wet bar on here as well. So you've got hot and cold um, water, which comes out into the top. All of these courtesy lighting all the way under here all lights up in a, in a range of colours. There's probably millions of colour options. And then I love the, so you've got a very classic looking boat, but then you've got very much the latest rugged technology here that you've got full shock mitigation shock seats. Now, these have got the nice way that you can have them in just a, a design here where you can stand up and have full standing access. But if you want to bring them up, you just lift up the base and they click into place and you've now got a full shock mitigating system. Now the design of the dash is really beautiful. It's dominated by these massive Simrad displays. They're twin 16 inch displays. And the whole boat can be controlled through these displays, which is something I really love. I love my technology. You've obviously got a really lovely sized chart plotter, um, but where you can start to play around is you've got all your Mercury engine gauge data. So all of your information on your engines can be displayed here. And then if you click on the Lumashore detail, this is where you can start to have some fun with the lighting. So all of the boat's lighting can be controlled here. So if I want to turn off all the lighting on the boat, I just tap there, all the lighting turns off. If I want to, let's say, turn all the lighting on the boat to green, I can do that, turn to red, 
turn to blue, absolutely any lighting source that I want, you can control all here through a beautiful Lumishaw setup. I'm very envious of this setup, I think it's beautifully done. Um, all of the systems can be controlled on here as well, so you can turn the stereo on, engine room hatch, your zip wake systems, cabin lighting, fresh water pumps. So all of your normal distribution panel on a boat is all located here. In terms of the rest of the design, it's beautiful real carbon here, so I don't have, there's no carbon effect on this boat, that's all real carbon. The zip wake system controlled here. You've got the beautiful twin Mercury throttles, which I think are just stunning. I talk a lot about this, the tactile feel of the Mercury throttles. Um, and on this boat, you've also got joystick control. So you've got the ability to manoeuvre the boat using the joystick, um, and you've also got skyhook on this boat, so it'll lock the boat into position. Um, I love the fact that even just the, um, the coverings up on here have got a slight um, carbon weave to it, which mirrors the carbon below. Just those little touches that you can see a designer really has thought hard about this boat. Modern touch again, you've got a wireless charging point here, clip the phone into there and it'll charge automatically. And then more fusion speakers here and custom made stainless steel grills with the logo on it. So it really is, I just think this boat is a thing of beauty. It really is very, very special. So let's head down below. What I'll do is I will pass the camera back to my able camera assistant, Nick. Um, so here we are down below. The first thing that you see, I love coffee, and so I love this. You've got a Miele custom coffee machine. Now, it's huge. It's a massive coffee machine. And I think this says a lot about the boat, the fact that the coffee machine is bigger than the microwave. So I think the aim on this boat is very much, you know, you have great days out. You have high-quality things like high-quality coffee. Let's not worry too much about cooking. But you do have the option to cook. So you've got a double Miele induction hob on here. Um, and then you've got this Miele microwave built in as well. And then this really nice big chunky fridge, all of which is all beautiful stainless steel. And everything is just such quality high end. And even the kick plate that, that um, fridge clicks into is all, stain is all uh, carbon fibre around there as well. The rest of it, you've got storage space, you've got cupboards, you've got a bin in here. So you have got practicality as well as style. Um, but this boat really is, it's just a head turning boat. To own this boat is a real statement. It's very, very special. Um, coming down below, I love the fact that the table has all been designed in such a way that it's easy to, to get around. You've got these leafs then that then fold out as well. So that creates a really good size dining space on there. Now this boat doesn't have an aft cabin. This is very much aimed at this area here, converting um, into a bed. Now, as you'd imagine, there's a technical side of that. And just inside this cupboard here, I can press the button and you'll just notice that the table drops down and goes back up again. So the way that the design is, is such here, that table will drop down into position and then tucked just behind here, is storage space there for the cushions. So it's really nicely tucked away. There's no going under here to get them out. Literally just lift this off, pull out the cushions, convert this into your bed for your um, occasional overnights. There's a built-in television at the back. That TV is seamless. It's hard to tell there's a television in there, but it's really nice. It disappears into the back there. What, another thing that I love, if you come down actually, one, I really love just these embossed seating here. Um, a lot of, a lot of um, different upholstery now is having this Bentley stitch put into it, but this is completely unique. This is totally custom to the Spearfish. You've got this raised section that's been built into it, then you've got this sort of semi-diamond pattern, and it just, everything about this boat leads to it feeling like it's so bespoke and very special. Skylight all the way along here. This is getting really popular in modern boats. You see this a lot, particularly on sailing boats on the coach roof. Also, there's a Squadron 42 we're selling at the moment. That's got this style as well. And as always, you've got a, a selection of options with the blinds. So the blinds here close to completely close that off, or you can pull it that way and then it just... Actually, sorry, I say that. I thought it goes the other way. It doesn't. That's just a close off. So the only option on this is to close it completely off. There isn't a mosquito net option, but it closes it off entirely. That's really nice. Right, you'll notice down here, if I grab the camera again, you'll notice down here on the floor the, the Esatec is the same all the way through, courtesy lighting, LEDs all the way up in the ceilings. You've got the Fusion, the very top of the range, RA770 Fusion radio in there. So what you have here is you have another Simrad chart plotter display down here. You've got access to all the same functions that you have upstairs. You've got the charts, you can see the engine data, and you can also set up all the Lumashore systems on here so you can control all the lighting as well. You've got hidden fusion speakers behind there and more storage space all the way along. Now I talked about this heads earlier, it really is quite special. 
So here you have the heads. This is what I said about a really high-end designer heads. Um, I love this. Um, this is a beautiful sink here. I think it's cast out of a piece of granite or something, um, and it looks absolutely stunning. So if I just pull the camera back there, you can just see the, the design in this head. Really good headroom as well. So I've got full standing headroom in here. LED lighting just on there, and then you've got these curtains that just come up to give you a little bit of privacy if you're in the loo. Little um, storage cubbies as well, and storage cupboards under there as well. So it's prepped as well as beautiful. There's absolutely stunning heads in there. Right, so I'm going to come back up here again now. So just pass the camera back again. And what I'll show you now is the engine access. So engine access, as you'd imagine, it's electronic, no heaving up any engine hatches on here. So just behind here, I've got a couple of buttons. Just press those and this whole area lifts up. Now, you can take all these bolsters off, but actually I'll leave them in place for now and hope they don't slide down, just to give you a glimpse in here of these absolutely beautiful looking engines. Brilliant, so go up onto there. So, and there's LED lighting in there, so I apologise for the flickering. Um, I just want to turn them off, actually. Tell you what I'll do. I'll just turn off the engine room lights. There we go. So the engine room lights have just <laughs> dimmed down there. It's a good example of how to use the systems. Um, the LED lights flash on the cameras. They weren't in real life. Um, so what you have here, you've got twin Mercury TDIs, 370 horsepower each. Now, the performance on this boat is incredible. Um, so when I went out on the boat, we did all the drone work, and I tend to do the drone work when I'm sitting at around about 22, 23 knots, but actually we then put the throttles forward to see what the boat would do. Performance-wise, 47 knots. So this boat's had 47 knots out of it, and I have to say, it felt so effortless. Um, it was such a fun boat to drive. Uh, the hull, I just can't speak more highly about the hull. It was amazing. Um, I think it was one of the editors of Powerboat and Rib Magazine said it was the best boat they had ever driven. Um, and they probably drive more boats than I do. So it was really, really incredible feeling boat to drive. And a lot of it comes from these Mercury power plants. They're just so silky smooth. And I think this engine bay looks so, so nice. Um, it's just nice to see something different as well. Nice, nice white engines in there instead of what you'd normally find the Volvo Penta greens on there. Brilliant, smooth engines, incredible power delivery. So I'll hand that back and just close the hatch down again. Great, and that man pops that down into place. So, as you can probably tell, I love this boat. Um, this was a boat that I fell in love with in 2021, and uh, coming back on board the boat now, having been asked to sell it, is it's a real honour. It is something very, very special. So, if you're interested in this boat, please do get in touch with us at parker-adams.co.uk. Um, we've done drone work of this boat, as I mentioned a few years ago, but I'm also going to do some more drone work, so I'm going to do a re-edit of that just to freshen all the footage up. I took loads and loads of footage on that day when I was out. Um, but this boat is so, so special. I can't wait to see who buys this boat, where it's going to go, whether it stays in the UK, whether it goes abroad. It'll be a stunning chase boat for a super yacht or something like that. So really excited to see what the next chapter holds for this boat. But if you're interested in buying her, please do get in touch with us. And thanks as always for watching the video. See you soon.